Hey, I'm Kat Von D, and I am here with the one and only Eric Soto, who is a Sephora Pro lead artist, and uh, he is responsible for making me look so good in so many of the different Sephora campaigns in the past, and uh, we're here to talk about um, more of contouring different shapes, right? Yeah, definitely. And you know, I love Kat's new line, the Everlasting Blush and Bronzer. So we're gonna show you this product so that you can learn how to contour for different face shapes. So as you can see, Kat has an oval face shape and where we've decided to place the bronzer um, is just a little bit on the forehead um, and then doing a traditional 3E. E. So here we do the E on this side, on the right side of her face, and then on the left it would be in a 3 shape. And what's important is when you're putting on bronzer that it's good to start where the center of the earlobe is and then start here and then brush forward and upward with the bronzer so you can really get that nice soft contour. What's important is where the sun would naturally hit the planes of your face. You know, when you walk outside, um, the first place the sun would hit you is on your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, and also on your chin. Where I put the bronzer that's gonna kind of, you know, push that area into my face, and then whatever I put on this lighter, like a blush, is gonna make that stand out more. And I like what you were telling me earlier when we were doing this was like the, the, the shape, like visualizing the triangle shape coming from, starting from the ear and towards the, the apple of your cheek, right? Yeah, like I, I like to reference it almost like the side of your cheek is like a rectangle. And if you break that in half, you've got the larger part of a triangle here, and then you taper it down to the point. Now, like I've seen it where people like overdo it with blush and then you end up getting clown face, which is something that I always have gotten scared of, especially with really intense bold colors. So uh, I know that in the past when you've done my makeup, you've taught me this really cool trick about the two finger roll. Yeah, so what's great is that if, you know, if you're new to wearing blush and you know if you want to you know, be daring and maybe try some brighter colors but aren't sure how to use it, um, it's good to place just two fingers here. And if you place the blush past the two fingers, you'll always be in the perfect spot of where your blush should be. And it'll never be too close. And what happens when, when you do bring it past the two fingers? So what can happen is if the blush is too far in, it tends to bring that area of the face down. That's not what you want to do. You want to like lift the face and make it more youthful. Well, awesome. Thank you, Eric. It's been a blast hanging out and talking about blush and contouring. And hopefully you guys learned a lot. And um, see you next time. Bye.